Good morning, Christina Bauer here. I am danger driving to the Pocono Mountains this morning for a presentation at a school and then a book signing for the launch of my new book, Shifters and Glyphs. And this is kind of a big moment for me. I'll give you a little context. Because uh, when I was a kid, I used to make up worlds all the time. I still do, um, but I did a lot. So we had this game called Candyland. And uh, I was like, Candyland, that this needs a backstory. So I built up that Candyland had this evil warlord who lived in a licorice castle because licorice is like the worst candy and it was gonna take over all the good candies. And then there were these two little kid warriors who were gonna go take down the licorice guy. And I got all excited about it. And like first grade, I go in and, and you know, the other kids are like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm like, I have to tell you about the licorice warlord and the Candyland castle and all this stuff. And they're like, oh, that's really interesting. So, um, so then growing up in Buffalo, New York, there were these commercials, which some of you people, may remember and it's like the host with the most in the polka nose with beautiful Mount Airy Lodge and this year as fate would have it in my house we were going to Disney like just opened Disneyland flying to California huge deal um and so I started watching these commercials ad nauseum because back then you could not avoid commercials ad nauseum and I'm like Mount Airy Lodge. What if it is a lodge that's in the air? And what if you ride like eagle guys to the lodge and hummingbird ladies like carry your luggage in their little long beaks? And then there's a roller coaster that goes through. Like I had this whole amazing theme park built up in my mind. And like when you're a kid, you can't really tell the difference between, you know, what you kind of build up and not. So anyway, I was definitely convinced there was some, 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 something good was going down at Mount Airy Lodge. So we're all sitting around dinner one night and my parents are like, who's excited for Disney? And all my, my siblings are like, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And I'm like, what about the Poconos? Maybe we should go to beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. What do you guys think? And they're like, um, well, most kids are kind of a lot more excited about Disney. Why don't you tell us what you think? I'm like, I told them about the riding on the backs of the Eagle Man and the Hummingbird people and the roller coaster and all this other stuff that I had built up in my head. And uh, they're like, no, that's not, that's not what Mount Airy Lodge is at all. And I'm like, I think you're kind of wrong. I mean, the name is Mount Airy Lodge. It's a lodge on a mountain in the air. Like, I think we have to do our due diligence. And although I didn't use those words at the time, and we have to at least go check it out. Like maybe we just do a weekend trip before we go to Disney and just see if that what's there. You know, it's, this was before the age of the internet where you could just like, pull it up, right? You had the ad and then you could call them. But I was pretty sure even if you called them, they weren't going to talk about all the amazing things that were probably there. So needless to say, we went to Disney and it's always been a goal of mine to visit the Poconos. So super excited this morning, having a signing at, uh, near the Poconos and speaking at a school in the Poconos. And I'm going to be singing the Mount Airy Lodge song the entire way there. Thank you for listening.